Last night, looking at the wheel and looking at some classic boats online, some pictures of steering wheels, I thought it would be really cool to incorporate some wood into the center here and to cover up where the PVC pipe comes through. So we've got some extra pieces, some scrap of the real good plywood here. And to me, that was just screaming for some trim work inside that steering wheel. So I played around with the files a little bit. And I'm going to use one of these pieces of scrap. We're going to cut out an inlay to go inside that steering wheel. There's the inlay before we pull it out and clean it up. And right now, these are just some bolts I had sitting around holding that together. But this is a piece of scrap from the, uh, the box of parts, and that was cut out. And I think if that's stained and really varnished up, that could be kind of cool. But that's still something I'm playing with. Moving on to the steering drum. This is a really cool piece. I really appreciate the design that went into this, and this is super, super solid with all those layers in there. Took a little bit of persuasion with a hammer and a block on top to get everything to seat real tightly. But this is a very, very solid chunk of design. I like that. The next thing to do before this goes on the shaft is there's a hole right there for the bolt. And the only way to get that through that I can see is to drill a hole in the front here so we can access that hole with a screwdriver and the hardware to go through there. Right now I just have the steering hub sitting on here. Nothing's been pushed down. I made a mark with the masking tape so I know how far down to push this. And what we want to do is make sure that the little nub here is pointing directly back. The steering drum has been put on top of the motor shaft. It's a really, really tight fit. So hammer and a block of wood, give it some taps on the top and get this to slide down. The next step is to drill a hole here and get some hardware through there. I still have my stainless steel hardware on order, so right now I'll just use a couple bolts to hold the place of it. But this looks pretty well lined up. The plans call for working a bolt through there as well as at a 90 degree angle on the other side. And I had a lot of trouble threading a clear path through. And I was also a little bit concerned that as this turns, if there are threads going through, that in time it could possibly wear a little bit onto those wires. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently. We've got some button head screws, and these will tap through the ABS and into the composite, the hole that was drilled through. This is really, really tight onto this shaft, so much so that it had to be hammered down. So this is really strong onto there. There's not a lot of torque going back and forth. And I think with the bolt going through, that should hold pretty well. And this will go through a good quarter of an inch into the composite shaft. Rather than using the corner of a workbench or a folding chair, Take advantage of the clamp that the motor has built in. It's a lot easier to work on the top here with that securely mounted at the bottom. We've got the last bolt here. The other three are in super, super tight. That's not going anywhere. We've got all four bolts nice and tightly secured. They go into the composite shaft and don't, don't poke through into the center channel where the wires go through. Everything is nice and tight. And the way this is designed is this goes to the back of the boat and that lines up with the bottom shaft. So as you turn, that stays consistent. 
the size of these bolts. These are stainless steel, 316 stainless steel bolts, hex head, button top. They're quarter inch 20s and three quarters of an inch long. That wraps up the motor. I think that looks really, really cool. That design on the top. Per the plans, the next phase is to move on to the puzzle joints for the sides of the boat and then on to going up the transom. Stay tuned and thanks very much for taking a look. Thank you.